Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you had a good break and I hope it was a good opportunity to kind of regroup as we charge ahead. Uh, this week takes us into April, which is pretty amazing considering that there's still snow outside, but it's going pretty quick for me at least. So I hope you had a, a good break and I hope you're ready to get going again. This week starts with uh, turning in um, words and more. And I'm really excited to see those, and I hope you'll all be able to spend some time checking out the work by other folks in this course. Um, and any of these projects, it, it's like reading um, a magazine. The quality of work you folks produce is really incredible, so I'm really excited to see these. We also have two book conversations, and the first round of book conversations went great. I, I think that uh, people really had an opportunity to take part and... Um, and enjoy some sustained conversations. So that was great. In this week's work, I'll introduce the next project, which is called Writing in the World. And it is designed to um, help you think about ways that writing can take place, not just in a classroom, and not just for, uh, for uh, student assessment or for student practice, but that can take place outside the classroom and for very real purposes that, that really do work or, or serve maybe a different purpose than the traditional assignment. I'm asking you to read a section of a white paper called Confronting the Challenge, Participatory Culture, and you'll notice that it's rather dated. Uh, this is by, uh, at the time, MIT professor Henry Jenkins. He's currently, I believe, with USC. Annenberg School of Journalism, and his, his main driving idea is that the digital divide is not what we used to term it, be, meaning students who had access to computers or Wi-Fi and those who did not, but instead the digital divide for him is that, that split between students who are allowed to participate through their classwork and their education in the greater society versus students who are not given that opportunity to participate in really education outside of their classroom. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll get a good explanation as you go through this 18-page read. It's a pretty short read. Um, but really, he challenges us to think about education as preparing students to be able to fully participate in society. Um, something that's not terribly new for us, but, but he puts it in a really good way. Um, and I think it's worth thinking about. It's also sort of part of the rationale behind this project. So there's a white paper to read the uh, executive summary and a short section up to 18 to get a sense of his ideas. And a video, a relatively short video, in which he talks about his ideas in that as well. It's kind of a, a slightly, um, um, you know, to think about project-based learning or connected learning and learning that, that takes students to experiences outside of the classroom. That's really what we're talking about here. So in you'll see in uh, the link this week's work that... Um, I kind of lay out what we're doing and I give you a large number of resources to take a look at. They range from things like something I really never knew about till recently, the Harry Potter Alliance, where Harry Potter fans got together and found that through writing and other means they could really be a force for good. Um, and others, everything from Teen Inc. to something I'm pretty involved in through my students, PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs. Um, my students have had uh, several pieces on NewsHour this year, and it's kind of maybe in a way an example of how students can do writing that happens outside of the classroom. I've also provided the link to Connected Learning, which I think is really helpful. Um, this is powered by the National Writing Project. It is truly driven and curated by community members. Um, and no matter your grade level that you work with, I think you will find some ideas here where writing can happen outside of the classroom. So part of this week is about turning in work. Part of it is about conversation. 
And then a great deal of it is about exploring and figuring out what kind of an approach you might be able to take for this next project. Um, as the week goes on, I will provide uh, uh, um, some examples of what people have done before so you get a little bit of a glimpse of that. And of course, I'm expecting questions about this, so please hit me in the questions forum um, or message me directly, that's fine as well, and I'll try to share those questions as they come up. I'm really excited for this week. I'm excited to see um, the results of the last project and very excited to see the kind of brainstorming that people will be doing as you think about the next project. We are well past the halfway mark. Um, this project will take us deep into April. It's not due till April 21st, so loads of time. And uh, I, I think it's going to be really great and I think it'll be a really exciting opportunity. Um, I will put up a link for a, uh, a weekly write. Um, I know we've dropped those every now and then. And please don't don't feel that uh, you have to go very deep in those. It is just meant to spend some time writing so that this course is part thinking about the pedagogy of writing and also finding those times to be able to sit back and write ourselves. Again, uh, welcome back. I hope all's well, and please drop me a line with any questions. Thanks.